whenever there's an argument between your heart and your mind, follow your heart. The things that the heart can understand and feel that the mind cannot relate to. There are things that you feel that you know in your heart of hearts that's not logical, it's not practical, it's not realistic, but there's something in you that says, I can do this. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, your life will be easy. People that are hungry are uncommon people. A hungry have a vision of themselves when they leave here, leaving a legacy and not liabilities. How do you get to that next level? You must learn to dominate. You cannot compete. Domination, not competition. Anybody can do this, folks. Anybody can do this. This is not about a college degree. This is about massive amounts of action. Whatever you think you're worth, if you're not sure of your own value, your own goals, and what you want, the world will never reward you of what you want, your value, and your goals. People that are hungry are willing to do the things today others won't do in order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. People that are hungry are relentless. People that are hungry are unstoppable. People that are hungry refuse to give up. I'm willing to make this happen. No excuse is acceptable. I'm going to do whatever it takes. I can do it. If anybody's ever done it at any point in time in history, then what's possible for one is possible for me, and I'm going to do it. It's my time. It's possible. It's necessary. It's me. It's hard. It's worth it. I don't know what you want to do. It seemed like yesterday when I was the new kid on the block. Now at 68, I'm the old time. My mother, I remember the first home I bought her. This home she saw, she didn't know I had planned to get that home for her. I purchased the home and I said, Mama, I think I know the people who live there. You do? I said, yes, ma'am. I said, I'm going to stop in and say hello. And I drove there and I opened the door. And she got out. And Mama, at that time, around 76, she held my arm and we were walking toward the house. And we got to the door. And I, I couldn't hold it anymore. I reached in my pocket. I took the key out and I put it in the door. This is your home. Mama, I bought this for you. I pushed the door open. She stuck her head in the door. She said, anybody home? I said, no, mama. Nobody's here. This is yours. If you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it and lose all your terror of the opposition for it and if you simply go after that thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope and confidence and stern pertinacity, with the help of God, you will get it. <laughs>